Hi there, it's Timmy Joe, and there have been so many damn Vega leaks. Everyone is just like scratching the internet. I like Rusty Spoon. Just with their fingernails trying to get any information about the damn thing. But guess what? I've got the ultimate leak. I actually have one in hand. Wait a minute. No, this is a uh, Radeon 5770 with uh, some cardboard on it that I wrote Vega on. Ooh, let's not do that. Last time I did that, I got a lot of dislikes. <laughs> Hi there, it's Timmy Joe. Um, you know what? We've been talking about this uh, Vega for way too long now. We've been hoping and like humming and hawing. But I remind you, Ryzen wasn't so long ago, the launch. And before that, there were all these leaks, these talks, these this anticipation. And although it didn't go kablooey and blow everyone's minds, it really did make an impact on the CPU world, much as I think Vega will. So I figured we would go ahead and round up a couple of rumors here, discuss a little further, and I would do one last little leaks video and explanation on Vega because I think it's like any minute now before we'll actually know most of the details, at least, uh, you know, actually see some real benchmarks. It's, it's coming up around the corner where it's not just coming from some Chinese character username on 3D Mark's website. So cue an intro. We're going to talk all about Vega and its possibilities and how they just might be endless. <gasps> Okay, so we're here. We're talking about Vega. We're hoping it's wonderful. What do we know so far? Well, there's been a few leaks with quotation marks around them in the last couple of weeks. I haven't touched on it since the uh, the Volta versus Vega, but uh, you know, I won't profess to be some sort of GPU guru. But I, I like to do a lot of research on this stuff and kind of see where it's going, where it's coming from, whether or not these leaks are true, and uh, before I really jump all over it. So I figured I'd put them all into one video here. And uh, the first thing that was kind of leaked or talked about. Uh, sort of a few weeks ago was the uh, there was a Linux patch that uh, gave us a f an insight into the performance of Vega but you know it just really told us some specs more than anything uh, that there'd be four shader engines 256 DMUs and 64 ROPs a lot of information that we kind of already sort of knew about Vega and that uh, you know the 8 gigabytes of RAM would be running at uh, 700 megahertz and there's a 1200 core clock which we could kind of confirm with some later leaks we'll talk about in a second but uh not much different than you know n n nothing new here just kind of confirm some stuff we already sort of knew the stream processors would be uh stream processors would be 4096 uh the performance should be around 12.5 teflops or 25 floating point 16 teflops and uh, the render output unit 64, texture mapping units 256, that the memory interface should be a 2048-bit uh, interface, which is a lot higher than uh, Polaris and the RX 480, and that there will be 8 gigabytes of high bandwidth memory too, and that's not even counting the high bandwidth cache that they're talking about, whether or not that's exactly the, the high bandwidth memory is what they're calling the high bandwidth cache remains to be seen. But, you know, this is all boring kind of just regular old performance stuff that you can't extrapolate real world, you know, performance from. So the juicy stuff would definitely be these next leak, which would be 3D Mark. There was a leak from some Chinese username that first off a time spy leak was uh, there f uh, showing a time spy score and uh, there was also a Firestrike score leaked under the same username. So before we hop into this, I tried to find any, you know, f like anything from this Chinese username uh, showing other scores or, you know, what his credentials might be. And there's like not next to nothing uh, to do with that username. So at the very least, I thought I could do a Google Translate on it. And uh, those characters equate to Maple Leaf Blood. So what in the hell does that mean? Uh, I don't know, but uh, 
it's weird because the, uh, the the cards being developed in the United States, and of course, the board partners in China are going to you know have their hands on them. But why they would have their hands on this specific model, or why this is in Chinese, you know, is it a Chinese person just kind of trying to hide it under that Chinese character and run a you know a quick benchmark on the you know the hardware, the reference hardware they're working on? Uh, who knows? But uh, this was uploaded on April twelfth, two thousand seventeen. So uh, you know, I would take this with a huge grain of salt. I'm inclined to even believe that these. Uh, scores are barely even real. You know, maybe they were ran from this card, but there's there's just so many factors that play into this. So number one, the skew is the same as the uh, skew that was running the Doom uh, simulation that AMD showed us. So we know that this is the Vega card. We know that the driver kind of matches up with what the driver should be, and all the other information sort of in line. So it's semi believable. But, uh, you know, considering the scores, let's just think that this is from about a month ago's driver. And we know that uh, AMD's had problems with the drivers, and that is one of the reasons why Vega was pushed back a bit. We were kind of expecting it by now, but we know that they have about 80% of their uh, driver developers working on the, uh, you know, uh, drivers for Vega for launch, and that makes sense. You don't want a huge debacle, much like they did with the power dry issues on the RX 480. So you want to have a bunch of testers, make sure that this is working as tickety boo. But you know, it doesn't matter how hard you try, something will go wrong at launch, or someone will try and say something's going wrong. But anyways, what do these scores mean in conjunction with uh, you know real world performance? Well, if we look at the Time Spy, which was the first one that leaked. Got a 5950 score uh, with a graphic score of 5721. Now, um, if you look at a similar spec, you know, AMD Ryzen 1800 with a 1080 Ti on it, it gets about double, uh, 10,229 points uh, with a graphic score of 10,610. So, you know, almost double the performance out of this. And if we go and look at the other, the Firestrike score, the 14,412 coming from the generic VGA card that is supposed to be Vega, and then in a similarly specced computer uh, with a 1080 Ti was, would get two, uh, 22,130. So, uh, you know, this is putting the performance of Vega right around the 1070, which is not what we want to hear. I mean, that's not far off from the RX 580 in terms of performance. We wanted something that was really going to push this. And this is supposed to be Vega 10. And Vega 10 is supposed to be their best skew. So uh, what's going on here? Well, number one, we definitely know that the uh, that, that Vega is supposed to clock higher than Polaris. And Polaris is clocking with the launch of the 580, somewhere around 1300 megahertz. So we've been speculating that uh, Vega should get around 1500 megahertz minimum. So if you kind of figure that out, then th this card is running at 20% of the performance that Vega uh, should be running at. So that would increase the scores a bit and maybe bring it closer to a 1080 non-TI, which is all well and good. But then also keep in mind, this is probably development hardware. This is probably uh, you know a driver that is not fully optimized for the system. So it keeps eking closer and closer to the performance of a 1080 Ti. Uh, also, we have no idea this could have, you know, a cooler on it that, you know, isn't working exactly in its favor. Maybe board partner cards for Vega will end up being, like, even better, or the overclocking headroom might be insane. Also, you know, whether or not the memory's running at its full efficiency and they've got everything worked out in that department. So, uh, if these specs are right and these scores are right, there's nothing to worry about. We'll definitely be seeing a lot more than these preliminary scores will, you know, kind of indicate. And I wouldn't worry too, too much. But I would also just say that, you know, the validity of this, this for all we know, this could be some Chinese hacker that figured out how to put scores into 3D Mark and, you know, just decided to make a funny username maple leaf blood and upload some scores with the you know fill in the blanks from what we already know about vega just to see how far it would go as a joke so there's nothing that's indicating that this is real information last thing i wanted to say is um you know what we 
uh, see that NVIDIA is sort of shaking in their booties a bit. They are uh, pushing, you know, they, they brought up the release times for the 1080 Ti and the Titan XP, especially the Titan XP. Uh, and uh, they are kind of hinting at Volta already. And they're, they're gearing up for what could be, you know, another Ryzen situation where uh, Intel was not prepared for Ryzen to be very well. They thought KB Lake was just going to be, uh, you know, automatically faster. And they weren't thinking the whole cores versus, you know, uh, frequency and, and how that actually could affect them in the end. And now they're sitting back twiddling their thumbs with Optane being the latest thing you've heard from Intel. So NVIDIA is definitely trying to make sure that they don't have that, uh, you know, situation happen to them. They want to make sure that everyone is, you know, assured that their hardware, if it is beaten, will, you know, that they will have something up their sleeves to beat it fairly soon, as soon as Q3 or Q4 2017, uh, you know, or definitely by 2018. So this is all good news. This probably means Vega is what it is, you know, they say it is. And we're going to have some 1080 performance for somewhere around $500. Now, there also is this rumor that there's still going to be a water-cooled version of this HBM situation from AMD and what I worry about there is if the you know top of the line card is like the R9 Fury X and we end up having this water cooled monster that just barely keeps up with the 1080 Ti we're gonna have uh, you know a Fury all over again and you know we're back to the drawing board I really hope that that isn't the case and that if there is a water cooled version it's some insane version that costs you know something like the the Titan close to the Titan and uh, you know it's really only for enthusiasts and you know AMD has pulled those kind of tricks before uh, and, and you know it might be possible that that's what's happening so I'll throw it back to the studio I hope you guys enjoyed the leaks and all this information well so those are my thoughts on RX Vega, uh, don't you wish that this really was Vega and we could just get this all out of the way? I am kind of tired of hearing about it, but remember, you know, Ryzen wasn't so long ago and we were all hyped on that and it did a pretty good job. I think this Vega will do a pretty good, this, this is just a piece of shit video card. I think it will do a pretty good job, but, uh, you know, in the meantime, all we have is these leaks to just kind of grasp onto and I think we should take them all with a super grain of salt. But in the end, I think my predictions will hold true in that Vega will be an amazing scalable platform, much like uh, the GCN architecture first was in the 70, you know, 770, 90, 79, 70, and uh, how that was very scalable up until now. It'll be a good architecture for uh, AMD, and it'll have to make, a, you know, NVIDIA come back with something even crazier. But it remains to be seen whether AMD will actually take the crown on like the fastest graphics card. I really hope they do. Leave comments below if you think I'm crazy. My name is Watch Timmy Joe, or that's anyways my handle on Instagram and Twitter. You guys can always leave comments below. Uh, I have Amazon affiliate links to my Ryzen build, and I guarantee you, as soon as uh, uh, Vega's out, I'm gonna be getting my hands on one, whether or not it's the most expensive, or uh, you know, there's a second tier, or there's a water cooled one that's just like kind of like the Titan. I'm not sure, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be an awesome time to be a computer enthusiast, as I always say. So you guys have a nice day, and I'm gonna go pick my graphics card off off the floor.